Hello again. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how I created this crossbreaker puzzle as it's called and uh, perhaps how to uh, use it to create other shapes. So I'll scroll down and the first step is to go view page grid. If you haven't got that showing you can look in document properties here and under grids you might need to click new grid or set it on rectangular grid first and click new grid then set an appropriate space. You know I've got 10 millimeters. And the cross breaker puzzle is based on a 5 by 4 grid so I can zoom in a little bit probably and draw the following pieces. First of all a right angle triangle. I'll use the Bezier pen tool and just two along and two down and when you hover over and the node goes red you know you're ready to join and that's okay. I'll give it a light grey fill to start with. Now the second shape I'll make will be a copy of that one but reflected so I'll control D to duplicate reflected in a vertical axis and drag along to there. Again back to the Bezier pen tool and I'll start at the very middle top here, go down to this side, down two units, then back up to this point of intersection and finally close the shape and click the light grey. Next one, I'll again while I've still got the busy A pen tool, I'll start at this point here, to there, back to the side, up and complete the shape and another way I can get the colour is to select D for the dropper tool and then sample the colour from another shape but now I have to go back to the Bezier pen tool. Next one I'll start from the very middle here click go down uh, one diagonal then down two spaces Cross two spaces, up and then back to complete the shape and wrong colour, well it doesn't matter, pick the same colour I may as well. And now I've got two more shapes to do, while well, the Bezier pen tool is active, start at the top there, down to there, here, the bottom and close the shape, back to the colour, done it again. Now while that's selected I'll just well, click the select tool and then I'll just reflect in a vertical axis sorry, control Z, duplicate, control D first reflect in a vertical axis and then drag that across and there's my completed cross breaker puzzle in the rectangular form I'll hide the grid by view taking the tick off page grid and drag around there so I'll zoom out Yep, and control D to duplicate, drag a copy across, <coughs> excuse me, and now it's ready to perhaps have a go at a puzzle. I might just reduce that uh, copy, drag around it, control shift and drag a corner down to there. Okay, now here's the puzzle I'll attempt to solve on the screen and Students could do the same if they are provided with a projection of the shape or a worksheet, something like that. They could still open up Inkscape and manipulate the shapes, which is a nice, neat way to do it. I'll start with this shape here and drag it over. Now I'll start with this little shape and I can rotate using the left and right square bracket keys. So they go 15 degrees each increment. And Actually, I might leave that there for the moment. I might try this shape. Rotate that around like that. So I think that uh, goes there from memory. Now I've got cusp node to cusp node snapping. You can see the snapping uh, to cusp nodes turned on there. Sometimes you might need to put on other ones, um, centers of objects or midpoints, but uh, you can play around with that. Now I'm going to drag this one up there, this one I'll rotate with the right square bracket and you can see I've formed one 
part of the cross already. If I put this one up here, I've got another part. Yeah, this one I can rotate around with the left square bracket. It looks about right. You can see I'm just about finished. And into place. And yes, that looks like the solution to that one. Now, there are other puzzles, and look, sometimes you have to um, flip things around. You can't get the puzzle without flipping. For example, if that part was needed uh, to be needed to be flipped, I could select it and flip it in a vertical like axis like that, or and or in a horizontal axis, so you can manipulate things that way. Control Z to go back to that, and uh, hope that that uh, gives you some ideas for uh, perhaps a, a virtual lesson in uh, dissection puzzles. Once again, thanks for watching.